Ah, here we are, Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so excited this week when we got our package because I had it sent to my apartment. Yes. Of our new t-shirts for the Atheist Bus Campaign. Thank you, Ariane Shireen. Oh, we love you. I have a total girl crush on her. She's so hot and yeah. smart. I have, I have great respect for her brilliance. I mean, and guts. So we should describe what this is. Okay. You want to do it? Well, first I'm going to show off my breasts because I'll show you the whole t-shirt. <laughs> it says, there's probably no God. Now stop worrying and enjoy your life. Ariane Shireen is the bomb. She started this yeah. campaign, raised a couple bucks, put these big ads on the sides of buses. One Christian bus driver refused to drive the to bus. Drive the bus. <laughs> but now that it's on 80,000 buses, you can go to their site. Yeah. Um, just Google Atheist Bus Campaign, and if you buy yeah. your t-shirt, you support their cause. You know, I've been teaching sex for how many years now? 40 years? <laughs> and the, all of the problems are based primarily on religious concepts. Guilt, shame. Thank you. And thou shalt not. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Who wrote the book? What was that song we had back then? Who wrote the book on love? So who wrote <laughs> the book on sex? So we have some questions. Let's start. I love this one. This is the um, virgin who thinks, masturbating virgin who thinks she's frigid. I masturbate almost every night and have wonderful fantasies, but I'm still a virgin and I'm starting to think that there may be something wrong with that. Well, this is not cute is about she? religion. This is about her own feelings about the social construct. Now, this is social and not religious, that masturbation doesn't count. Now, I've been, I sex. Yeah, I, come on, I've been battling this fight your whole career <laughs> yeah, my entire life no it isn't my entire life so it's masturbation having sex with yourself is a valid full healthy sexual relationship for your whole life it's the only constant in your sexuality if you think about it uh, as a little kid that's the first per thing you do and teenager it'll, it'll, and it'll get you in between your love affairs There's love affairs and then and after you've been married for a while it'll get you through <laughs> marriage then when you get to be old it'll get you through old age that if she can just understand that having sex with herself is real mm -hmm. sex and it's perfectly okay and when she wants to have partner sex she will I'm a 19 year old lesbian I am really really sexually attracted to a lady at work it makes me so horny just to think about her that when I see her, I end up getting so aroused that I have to go somewhere to masturbate. Bathroom stall, I'm sure. Am I too young for a May December lesbian fling? So she thinks 19 and 40. Mm, is that That's okay? It's ridiculous. I mean, you're ready for anything if you want it. If you want it. If you're interested mm -hmm. in doing it, and the other person is interested too. That's the key. It's like-minded. So if the woman is interested. So I answered the question by telling her that she has to let her know one way or the other. That she likes her and then see yeah, what she and, thinks. And see, and see what develops. I've never looked at age when I've dated. I've always dated much older people, someone my age, people younger. It doesn't um, matter. It really doesn't the matter. The oldest I went out with was 75. And I know that sounds bizarre, but I really had well, great I'm way past regard. 75, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. Feed all the rumors that we're having sex, Betty. Please. Well, we are having verbal sex. We're having intellectual sex, intellectual which is always sex. the best sex to It'll have. last longer than the other one, the <laughs> physical. I mean, my clip could drop off at any minute. <laughs> hey, I'm a 32-year-old female, and I've been in a relationship for eight years with a 34-year-old woman who has no desire for sex. For the first five or six months of the relationship, the sex was great. Should I stay in a sexless relationship? Well... Of course she can stay in a sexless relationship if she wants to live without having partner sex. Now, once again, here we go. She can be with this woman, and they can share their lives, and she can have sex with herself. And I would make an arrangement, or I would make an agreement with my partner. That you can have sex with other people. Exactly, that she can have sex outside the relationship. So you think she should have a conversation directly about it? Absolutely. I like Absolutely. that. And otherwise, it's going to be, you know, oh, I'm unhappy. So I what is it? Anyone. Okay, so let's have that mock conversation. So what do you say? You know what, honey? I love you. I love you so much. We have this great life together. But I need sex in my life. And if you're not going to have sex with me, I, w I don't want to throw out our think, emotional relationship. I no. don't think you say need. I want. It's, I it's, want. It's okay. a desire. I want, I want to have partner sex in my life. I want to be with, I want to be with another person. And, but I want to stay with you. I want to live with you. Because but I, I love you. Yes. And, and you're my and roommate, life partner. Exactly. But I need to have... I need, I want, I choose to have sex with other people and I would like to do it with your blessing instead of, 
And now, what if she says no? Well, then you... Okay, for me, what I would do, split. It's a lesbian relationship. There are no children. They probably don't own property together. Just move along. What is this? Why, 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 do you why feel... are we attached to misery and suffering other than religion? Because we're, we're Puritans. I really think that people have a problem. Mm. You know, Wilhelm Reich is the one who used the term pleasure anxiety. And oh, I love that. Exactly. So We have what, pleasure anxiety. The, so If you're having too much fun, it's like, whoa. But if we don't solve our in, personal, we're, we're our at war. Our inner conflict. Yes, we're at war all the time with ourselves. We feel guilty for masturbating. We feel guilty yes. for fantasizing about our sister-in-law. We're at war <laughs> with our partners because they're not doing what we want. We fight with them, and then we go to the office, and then we have more wars. So it's like... Break the cycle. Break the cycle. And the way we break the cycle is... Stop worrying and enjoy your enjoy life. Your... <laughs> Where's my life? Wait. <laughs> enjoy your life. Life. It's way over here on the side.